Today, I'm putting the new and improved ChatGPT5 to the test by challenging it to recreate Geometry Dash in one minute, 10 minutes, and one hour. And we'll be starting off with the one minute game. So typically I'd have ChatGPT generate all of the art and code, and then I set everything up in Unity. But since this is a one minute game, we don't have time for that. So I can just let GPT-5 make the whole game by itself. All right, so that's literally gonna be the prompt. So simple. And I'm gonna send it and start the one minute timer. All right, 34 seconds left. So it just spits out all of the code here. 22 seconds left. Oh my God, is it gonna finish the time? Dang, it is still going. That was like 20 minutes over the timer, but I think it counts because it technically finished in 25 seconds. Okay, let's give it a shot. So we press run code right here. Oh my God, geometry-ish dash. Oh my God, I, what? I can't, I can't beat it. It's like impossible. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I don't think this game is frame rate independent. Since my computer is pretty decent, the game just runs too fast. I'm gonna see how well I can do on this though. Three, four, five. Oh my god. What? So not only was the game too fast, it was genuinely impossible. So I gave ChatGPT this prompt. Okay, it says it fixed those issues. Now we can run it again. All right, let's see. Okay, now this is a reasonable speed. Whoa. Oh yeah, this feels good. This feels great. Oh, I feel like we jumped really high. All right, let me go for my high score and then we'll move on to the next game. I'm trying to beat 5,000. Yeah, they're flying at me at this point. Oh my God, I'm about to beat 5,000. Yes, I did it. All right, 10,000. Oh my, at this point, it's just a reaction time test. Oh my God. No, I jumped too early, okay. 17,000, let's move on to the 10 minute game now. All right, so here's the prompt I made. I'm gonna send this and start the timer. Oh my, <coughs> oh my God, I just finished. We have seven minutes and 30 seconds left. Ain't no way it said, heck yeah. All right, let's download all these sprites it generated. All right, this is what the sprites look like. So let's just add the background. First, I'll drag in all the sprites, and then we can add in the background. Actually, really clean background, I can't lie. All right, there's the ground. All right, now we can make the player. So drag him in. Oh, he's way too small. Make him like that big. Now for the spike, it just needs a little box collider in the hazard tag. All right, so I gotta paste all these scripts in real quick. Copy. Paste. All right, so that's all the scripts pasted in. Now I got to set everything up in the scene. Two minutes left. Let's drag player controller onto the player. Drag the spike spawner on the spawner. So the spike needs to scroll left and destroy off screen scripts. Then I can drag the prefab into the spawner. All right, let's see if it works. That should be everything set up. What is this? Bro, I can't even jump. Like I'm barely jumping off the ground right now. Oh my God, okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. We gotta buff the player's jump force to like 50. Oh, this might be way too high. Please. Oh my gosh, that's high. Put it to like 32. Oh, so much better. Okay, let me just lower the gravity, but... Oh, that's the timer. I'm gonna adjust some values to make it look more fair. All right, it should be a lot better now. Oh yeah, let's see how many I can get now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. I gotta get at least 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Oh, and I died. All right, so now it's time for the one hour version. Before I start the timer and get to work on the game, I'm gonna generate all of the sprites. So I had ChatGPT come up with all of these prompts. We're gonna start off with the player and I'm just gonna paste this in and then it should uh, generate it. Wow, it does look just like the original. All right, now for the ship. Yo, this is some cheeks, I can't even lie. But it is what it is, I guess. This is what it gave me for the floor. Nothing much to say about this one. Now for the background. This is this is low-key kind of clean. Like, I can't even lie. Now it's time for the ship portal. Ooh, I like this. I like this a lot. That's actually really good. Now for the cube portal, we just make a green version of that one. Oh yeah, that's on fire. Like, it's so clean. Like, the glow is so nice. Next up is the spike. That's clean as well. It's just too clean. Now for the, like, the square block tiles. Okay, just what I expected. All right, so here's all the sprites I have uh, cropped and ready for the game. So it is time to get started now. So this is going to be the first prompt. I'm not going to ask for everything at once because that's just too much to deal with. So we're just starting off with the movement for now. Anyways, send this and start the timer. Heck yeah, let's get that little cube zooming. Okay, buddy. It wants me to get started by creating the player, so let's do that. First, we gotta drag in all the sprites into the game. Then we can drag in the player. Buddy's looking massive right now. Scale him down to a proper size. We gotta give him a rigid body 2D. Let's put scale 5 and then... Freeze on the axis. Then a box glider 2D. 
right, so now that we have that, I'm gonna create a basic scene. Drag in the background, scale it up a little bit. I can drag in the floor here. I might honestly wanna scale this drawing up. Yeah, I think it looks better scaled. So I just set up a little tile map here and we can paint these in the scene like this, but they're way too big right now. So let's scale them all down. We could try something like 10. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoopsies. Let's uh, <laughs> do the other way. Ooh, okay, that's better, but not quite there yet. Let's try 400. Oh, almost perfect. 618. There we go. That is perfect. So now we can just like spam these everywhere. All right, so I made the scene a little bigger so the background goes on for longer and the floor as well. And with that, I'm going to test out the game just to see if the player like falls and hits the ground. Boom, there we go. Okay, so that works. But the player's not doing anything right now, so we got to copy and paste this player controller 2D script. Base. And then we just drag the script onto the player. All right, let's give this a shot. Let's see if it works. What? What was that? Why did he like launch like that right away? What was that? So we involuntarily jump right away. And if I press spacebar, I can't jump. Like I'm spamming it. Let's just tell it it doesn't work. So it just wants us to replace the code with this. We have 33 minutes left. We're already 27 minutes in. Oh God. Okay, okay. okay. If this doesn't work, we're kind of cooked. Kind of cooked. Please. All right, so we still can't jump. I already have all of this stuff, but it has to be a problem with the code. Paste. Oh my God, now it's 200 lines of code. Oh God, I forgot to give the floor the ground tag. No chance. I swear, if this works, I'm gonna be pissed. I thought I did that. Oh my God, okay, it works now. Nice. All right, so now we can jump, but there's two problems. Obviously the camera is not following the player, so we just go off the screen like right away, and the player sprite does not rotate on the jump. So let's ask it to fix that. So it wants to replace the jump spin coroutine with this. All right, paste that in. And here's the camera follow script. So now I'm gonna put the camera follow script on the camera and then set the target as the player. All right, we should be set now. There we go, the camera follows and let's see if we rotate when we jump. Oh, let's go. Uh, I just wanna increase the jump force because we definitely don't jump high enough right now. All right, yeah, that's a solid jump height right there. We have 22 minutes left. We gotta hurry this up. So the next thing I wanna do is place these spikes in the scene. They need to be able to kill the player. So we gotta ask ChatGPT for that. Why does it always say some stuff like this at the start? <laughs> Trying to be like relatable or something. So it's only ready to level manager. So let's copy the script, paste it in. And then we need a hazard kill script for the spike. So let's copy it. Nice. So I gave these spikes colliders and now I can just drag on the script. All right, let's give this a shot. Oh, whoa, the, the spikes just fall down. I got to turn off gravity for them. Round two. There we go. Boom. Oh, that's nice. That's crisp. All right, now it's time for the portal. So when we enter the portal, we should switch to the ship. All right, send this. We got 13 minutes left. Oh, this is going to be tight. So remade the player controller script. So let's paste this in. All right, 258 lines of code for that. And then we have this portal script. Okay. Let's add the portal to the scene. Oh my gosh. I'll just give it a box glider. Drag the portal script on it. I'm going to duplicate this portal. Then we can give it the green one. And then this one will turn the player back into a cube. Sweet. So just to test, I'm going to leave this right here. And then this one over here. All right, I have low expectations for this. I do not expect this to work. But let's see jump oh whoa, whoa, whoa. okay okay oh it kind of works it kind of works and we got some stuff to fix here so when we enter the portal it like thrusts us up ayo so we definitely don't want that to be too strong so let's lower that to like 20. yeah so the rocket actually works pretty nicely okay 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 we're chilling we're chilling we have four minutes left okay so the last thing we need to do is set up a level but we have all the mechanics in place here so i'm gonna set up a level real quick Hey, there's that. How much time we got left? 48 seconds. Oh my God. Okay, okay. Spike, 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 double spike. Come on, hurry up. Two. Oh no. Okay, we're out of time. Uh, this will be the finish line right here. There we go. That's the game. Let's give this level a shot and see if it's playable. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, of course, bro. All because I didn't have it set static. All right, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Uh. Oh my gosh, this is actually so hard. No. Oh, this is good. Yep, jump. Jump. No. Oh my god. Oh, I did it. I did it. I'm at the. Oh. Here we go. Boom. Oh, back to. Oh. Okay, jump, 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 jump. 
it was just not possible to beat the level so i had to give it a little makeover all right the level should be much better now there we go oh yeah so much better there nice until i get stuck right there oh very nice all right now that's doable a couple triple spikes here and there we go oh we did it hey well that's the one hour game all right chat so that's all of the games let me know which one you like the most in the comments i personally think the one minute game wins here because making a game like that in one minute is kind of crazy and here's a side by side comparison to a geometry dash game i made with ChatGPT over two years ago and the difference is quite substantial and please subscribe because i'm trying to hit 20,000 subscribers please we don't care let me tell you right, <laughs> we don't care